What is up, guys? Can you hear that pigeon? That is so annoying. I'm gonna hope you don't do that the whole time. But yeah, that noise you can hear is someone cutting wood, I guess, and the fountain in the pond. But I hope you don't mind because we're outdoors and it's a lovely day. And yeah, I've got to chat to you guys for a bit, of course. There's the pigeon again. Anyway, I'm gonna roll the intro and I'll see you back here in a sec. That bloody pigeon. Yeah, so guys, two things I want to talk about. Um, George Floyd, of course, that's very tragic news, and Dominic Cummings um, being a twat, basically. Two things in, in the news at the moment. Uh, of course, George Floyd, innocent person, black person, dead because of a careless cop, racist, probably, and it's, it's not right. It's raising political issues that we thought were, you know, long gone in our past. And it's 2020 and things like this are still happening. I, I just ask, why do people like that exist? Like, you know, this guy needs to be, I, I don't know, what? He shouldn't be, he's definitely not gonna be doing his job like that anymore. Yeah, since this, George Floyd tragedy, like, there's been protests, riots all over America if they weren't already because of COVID and the current situation we're all in. Everyone's a bit stressed and it's making everything worse. Of course, the officer involved lost his job. He should be in prison. He should be in a prison, buried under a prison, in another prison. You know, that kind of thing. It's not acceptable anymore. It never has been towards anyone for that matter, um, and it's a, bit, it's a bit the opposite here with uh, police, I think we have more respect for our police force, because they don't do so many things like that, even though they've been guilty of things in the past, but nothing like that, come on, I mean, it's just ignorance, and America is guilty of that many times, and yeah, Trump can say what he wants, but people being the way they are sometimes is not down to him but like kind of he doesn't really help if you know what I mean the fact that people would rather have Bush back when, when he was a mug but I don't know I don't want to get into US presidents so yeah guys speaking of politicians um, Dominic Cummings the spin doctor for Boris uh, the orchestrator of getting Boris in number 10, one of the guys involved in Brexit, a twat, that he's really, like, come on, don't be a hypocrite, like, we're all sacrificing everything, not seeing our loved ones for so much time, but this guy had to, didn't he? Like, the guy that's supposed to tell us to stay at home and set an example, you know, it's like, don't do as I do, do as I say, like, He's just a mug and I can't say any more like maybe some of us would have done the same but like when you're in that position your job is to act as an example you know you're just causing more stress for everyone and Boris you know he's got to write him a polite letter and tell him to bugger off basically because technically if not for him Boris wouldn't be there and some people think we're better off we had been better off that way I don't know um, difficult time and uh, like I think politicians are using Covid to their advantage in some ways for political gain for their own political advantage when come on like the NHS are, uh, are struggling and doing their job you know they fought through it we're going to applaud them again tonight uh, but yeah Dominic Cummings just twisted the whole thing because like why should we sacrifice everything if he's not gone in. What's the point? Like, second spike, 
yes or no. Doesn't matter. If it does come, why should people follow the rules if he didn't? I've had my rant, rightly so. It was needed. It's been a while. Seeing as I'm not doing podcasts. But yeah, I'm out here enjoying this weather. It's quite warm, you know. Forget what it's like to be in warm weather. It's like six months of winter here, innit? So anyway, that is it for this video. I'll be back to vlogging soon enough. I hope you've uh, listened to what I had to say. Taken it in. I hope, like, I don't know. There's peace. I don't know. Is there any point in hoping for peace? I don't know. I hope you guys are okay in, in your situation. As difficult as it may be, keep going, you know. Um, with <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> bless you. We're the real heroes. NHS are the heroes. We're going to clap for them and we're going to put our middle fingers up to Dominic Cummings and that stupid officer that will burn in hell. I know that bomb show is time to end. Take it easy, guys. I'm your host, Louise21, as always. Take it easy. Peace.